some people were surprised that you even played tonight, let alone had such a big game, I guess. Just what were you thinking when you went into tonight's game? Turn it loose. Um, you know, just shout out to the trainers, coaches, everybody that had something in the strength and conditioning coaches. You know, with me getting back so quickly, um, you know, it was devastating just me going down that week. So, so I'm just happy to be back, happy we got the win. And, you know, my coaches know when, like, once I tell them I'm good, I'm good. Like, there ain't no holding me back, just turn me loose. And, you know, I just appreciate them for believing in me and just trusting in who I am. Was there any soreness for the shoulder during the game? I mean, how did it feel at all? Good, good. Um, and I'm going to stay on top of it. I'm going to keep doing what I do, you know, stick to the, 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 the system, the process, and, you know, get this thing back, you know, 100% and just keep keep moving forward, keep trying to win these games, man. We got to keep winning. December is important for us right now. Did you wear some kind of, like, harness? Uh, on the yeah. Work? Yeah. I wore that same harness I wore two years ago. Yeah. Like? Kind of on Sunday when they was playing, I was, like, doing my own rehab, like, they hadn't took me to rehab all week, so I kind of knew what I needed to do when I got home, and I got kind of a setup at home where I could do a lot of stuff. And I was just doing stuff at home, and I'm moving around, and I'm like, I feel good. Like then the next day I go in, I tell Shooks how I feel. I see the doc, and they test me out. Only thing I had to do is just go, you know, you know, show them my strength was back and everything was back, and I was good. Like, and you know, they were still kind of skeptical about it, like, <laughs> but. You know, they, 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 they trust and believe, you know, I won't I won't put myself in harm's way to go out there and not be productive for the team. So, you know, I just like I said, I you know, I commend the coaches for believing in me. Calvin, you had two hundred and five yards, one shy of your career high. When do you know that you're on track to potentially have a career like when in the game do you know that you've got it and, and you're going for it? I hear the crowd going crazy sometimes. I look up and I just see my numbers up there sometimes, and that just be that. Like, because nobody on the sideline tell you like, you know what you got. You know, the game going. You know, everybody's doing what they doing. So, you know, when it pop up on the screen, I see it like everybody else, and you know, that's when I seen what was going on. On both of your touchdowns, you went on the route like on the outside of the right tackle. What were you seeing about the way that the blocking was in front of you that, that gave you that clear path to go to the? Yeah. Um, tight ends, receivers, all of them did a good job of like giving me the edge and giving me the opportunity to, to put my speed on and get to the edge. So, you know, you got to commend those guys up front for, for opening those big holes up. It, the holes is big all night, you know. So, you know, you got you to get those guys credit up front. Um, they're my guys. So they, they, they did a great job of blocking for me tonight. Receivers, tight ends, everybody did a great job of blocking for me tonight. And, you know, I was just hitting the holes and, you know, trying to find some space out there. Did any part of your performance surprise yourself? I mean, it's one thing to come off shoulder injury, gain 100 yards, but you got 200. Nah, I'm playing football. Um, you know, you got to play your most, your best ball in, in December. So, you know, I had to show up for my team, and that's what it is. You know, whatever it takes. If I had 75 yards, we got to win. I'd be up to saying the same thing. You know, I just want to win, and you know, I know this team got the same desire I got. We just want to win games. Um, we want to keep them from winning like that. You know, that's what we gotta we gotta go correct as a group. You know, these the leaders on the team gotta keep pushing everybody on the team and you know, clean a lot of stuff up and just keep playing some good football. Calvin, I know the most important thing to you right now is the win, but um in, in the first half you broke Adrian Peterson's record for most yards by a Viking in one half. I just what are your thoughts on that number? Well, that's my guy. Since I got here, like I watched A P before I got here. So like, you know, definitely just falling behind his steps is like you know, hearing all those, you know, I captured his record and doing all that stuff. That's that's big. AP is a legend in my eyes and a lot of people's eyes. So I look at I look at him as one of the greats. So to to do that is that's big. You know, like I said, commend my O line up front. Do you realize that KJ out that KJ touchdown? Did that save the game in your mind? For sure. That kinda that kinda took us to the point where like yeah, we still here. We still can score. You know, give our defense some 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 momentum because we was we were shooting ourselves in the foot by by throwing them interceptions and you know turning the ball over and not converting first downs. 
And we was giving them the ball back so quick. So for us to go get that quick strike and show them, like, you know, y'all kind of settle down. We got y'all just like y'all have been having us all in the first half. So like, y'all, y'all just regroup and do y'all thing. And that's what that's what happened. Last two, three, Calvin, 11 days ago, you didn't just get hurt in the game. You got carted off the field. Um, what type of message do you think that sends to the guys in the locker room? Now getting into crunch time where you kind of have to dig deep if you want to reach your ultimate goal. I feel like any any guy in the locker room will do the same for the team. You know, I think that's the type of you know group we got in that locker room, the type of team we got, the type of grit these guys got in the locker room. And you know, I do anything for this team, anything for this team to win. You know, like I said, I want to put myself in harm's way if I can't go out there and compete. But you know, this little show don't hold me back from helping my team win football games. Zimmer calls you a warrior. Do you see yourself as a warrior? <laughs> Whatever a Viking is. <laughs> Thank you.